I want you to go to your notes app or take a little notepad like this one I have here and I want you to write something down. Write down whatever you do on a day-to-day -day basis. Now be honest with yourself. It can be even things like sitting on the toilet for half an hour when you really could have got done in five minutes but you are scrolling through social media. Think about every little thing you do. Pause the video and come back. But after you do that, think about how much time you take you take doing those little tasks you just wrote down. Think about how much time and think about how much time would be added to your day if you got all of those things out of the way. So lately, every single day, I've been trying to jot down the things I do on a day-to-day -day basis. Every little thing, like I said, even if it's like sitting on the toilet, scrolling through social media, I've been trying to get rid of the things that I've been doing that have no value and have no adding to my life whatsoever. When I think of my goals, when I think of the things that I want to do, the things that take time, whether that be, you know, that might be editing videos and posting them and filming them, that takes time. And oftentimes, I used to say so much, oh, I don't have time for this. Oh, I want to do this thing that I've been thinking about for so long, but I don't have time. When we really think about it, we have way more time than we even realize. And what I mean by that is that some of our hours are filled with things that we just do second nature. We just do them just because they take up time, we're lazy, we don't have things to do, we're bored. But when you realize that being bored does nothing but harm you, you realize that your priorities, your goals, the things that you want to do aren't that hard to achieve. When I think about filming videos and editing them, when I think about them in the past, you know, I always used to say it takes so long to put good edits into a video. It takes so long to film a video, think of things I want to do. But when I started clearing my mind, taking that list where I wrote down everything I do, and I started clearing that list, I made the list of things I do so much smaller. Of course, you have your priorities, the things you need. You need to eat, you need to sleep, you need to provide for your family. Anything you need to do, you know, those are always at the top. But what if I told you that you need to make your goal a priority? Make your goal one of those things at the top of the list. And understand that your priorities that you need to get done, they can feel like such a hassle when you have all these things at the bottom that you don't even need. Video games, sitting on the toilet for half an hour, scrolling through social media, doing whatever the heck else, wasting your time. When I tell you that you're wasting your time without even realizing it, it's insane because I've done it for so long. And this summer, I've finally taken a step back and I've realized how much time I waste every single day doing things that don't do any good for me at all. I stopped playing video games recently and I've seen that I get so much free time. I used to play games and fill my free time with things that just didn't add to my life all the time. And then I would always tell people, oh, I'm kind of busy. Oh, I don't have any time for that. I have to do this, 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 and this. But I didn't even, when I was in school, I used to play video games all the time. And I would have bad grades. I wouldn't even put all my effort towards my schoolwork. And even if I'm being honest, it doesn't take that much effort to get good grades and just study a little bit. I just wouldn't study at all. I wouldn't try. I would focus on doing the things that didn't have any value added to them. And you know, it could be video games for you. It could be anything else. It may be different for every person. But just think about the fact that if your goal was a priority, if you thought of your goal as something that you need, you need to eat, you need to sleep, you need to provide for your family. If you add your goal in that, whether that be posting a certain amount of videos a day, whether that be running, whether that be getting closer to your long-term goal or getting closer to the goal you have in mind right now, if you realize that if that's a priority, it is so much easier to achieve. When I've started posting these videos and taking time out of my day to think about what I want to do and think that I just want to post these videos and edit them, you know, it takes... It used to be so hard for me to say, oh, I have to think of something to talk about. Oh, I have to think. But the reason is I had so much brain fog. I had so many things I filled my brain with that did nothing for me. And what did that do? It made it hard to think about good things to talk about to people like you. I wouldn't think of things to talk about. And if I thought of things to talk about, it would get pushed aside by all the 
video game characters I was thinking about trying to get in this new game that just came out. I had so much things taking over my mind. And when I've pushed them aside, I've realized it's so much easier. The things I want to talk to you guys about, they come just like at the snap of my fingers. I could just turn my camera on and just start talking. And that used to be so hard. My goal, my goal of posting YouTube videos and just sharing my thoughts with the world in a hope to help them, that was hard because I had so much going on in my mind. But I finally started to make my goal a priority of mine. Right now I'm waiting to go to work. But I put aside time to film this video and share with you guys some thoughts that are on my mind. You know what I didn't do? I didn't film, I didn't waste my time. This morning I did productive things. I worked on some videos for today, I worked on some videos for tomorrow, and I worked on some financial stuff for school. I've gotten more productive because I've gotten rid of all the things on that list I told you to write out that don't have any value. And it's been a daily process. If you're in your little notebook, maybe you have a little day where maybe you have one day where you have all these things listed out. Every single day, just try to get rid of one of them little by little. Maybe you get rid of half of that. Maybe you spend not a half an hour on the toilet scrolling through social media. Maybe you spend 15 minutes. That's progress. Continue to make progress. It's not something you can do overnight because trust me, I've tried it. I've tried to just cold turkey things and just get rid of them all together. And that works for some people, but it doesn't work for everybody. And that can make you depressed and think that you have no hope. But there's hope. You can do it because I did it. I gradually got rid of these things that got me closer to my goal and things that I wanted to do. I've been able to appreciate the world, bike more. I've been able to go to work and actually appreciate my days. I've been able to just get closer to my goal. And it's so amazing. So when you think about your list, think about doing that every day. Think about maybe not actually writing, but maybe think about in your mind, think about what did I do today? Maybe before you lay down, what did I do today? And how much time did that thing I'm thinking of take away from me doing the things that I want and the things that I need? Because when you realize it, your priorities are not that hard. Your priorities, the things that you do every day, the things that you need to do to survive, they're not that hard. And people think only think they're hard because they fill their days doing absolutely nothing but wasting time. When you get done with your priorities, you have free time and you can work towards your goals. It's just when you have free time, don't waste your free time. Use your free time. Too many people say, oh, I want to relax. Oh, I want to just step back. You know, I had a hard days of work. You know, I had a hard time doing my priorities. That's not hard. People have, you know, a misconception of what things are that are hard. And it's so sad to see the world just not working towards the things they want. Everybody wants these things. Everybody says, oh, I want this and I have this idea, but they're not doing what they need to do to achieve those goals. If I'm being honest, you aren't trying hard enough and I'm not even trying hard enough. I could still try harder. There's always levels to getting towards the goal that you want. The thing that you're thinking about right now when I say goal, you're thinking about something. There's levels you can do to do that. For me, posting videos. I'm trying to be consistently posting videos just like this every Monday and every Friday. And then I post shorts. I post short form videos. I be consistent because when I realized in the past, I would play video games and I would do all this stuff to just waste time. And I also had this hobby of filming videos. And I was like, it's impossible. There's no way I can do this at the same time, but I can. I spent so much time doing things that wasn't related to my goal whatsoever. And that made my goal seem impossible. The thing that you want, your goal is not impossible. Don't ever think it's impossible just because you're wasting your time. You have so much time in your day. Every single time you try to get closer to your goal, let's just say it's videos. You can spend 30 minutes out of your day making and editing and posting a video. They could change your life. You wasting your time scrolling through social media not creating anything, or you playing videos, if you playing video games like I used to do a lot, I still respect video games, but I just don't play them as much. If you're just playing video games all the time, you're not getting closer to changing your life. But if you post a video, if we use that example, that, that could change your life. 
if you're studying on whatever goal and thing you're thinking of, if you're getting more information on how to make that happen, on how to make it a reality for you. When you're studying, you're researching, you're taking your free time and you're putting that free time towards your goal. You're not letting it just float around and oh, I'm relaxing and I'm wasting time. Don't waste your time. Time is something you will never, ever get back. The video that I'm creating, I'm never gonna get this time back. So I'm praying and I'm hoping that I'm adding value to this video. I'm ha I'm so happy that somebody can watch this and hopefully get motivated to maybe stop wasting their time. Because I spent my time to try to motivate you and that's all I'm here for. I'm trying to add to people's lives. I'm trying to add to my own life. And people don't realize that when you're not adding value to someone else's life and you're not adding value to your own life, what are you doing? You're wasting your time. Don't waste your time. Like I said, you'll never get it back. So I want you to take that list. Take that list and do it every day. And if you have to write it down, do it because I promise that writing things down help you remember it more and help it just become reality for you. Write it down. Start crossing out things you're getting rid of. Maybe that's you know, eating junk food or, you know, trying to talk to a bunch of girls if you're a guy or trying to, whatever it may be, just wasting your time. Make your life better. Every single day is an opportunity to make your life so much better than it was the day before. And always think about it like that. The best way to get better in life is thinking, oh, I want to be a better person. I want my goal to be at a better point. I want my little map that I have drawn out in my head, the checkpoint that I'm at right now, I wanna be at that next checkpoint tomorrow. Think about it however you wanna think about it. But think about it in a way that's positive, in a way that's beneficial, in a way that helps you mark out those things that don't add to your life. Stop wasting your time. Understand that every day is an opportunity for you to make your goal a priority. And if you aren't making your goal a priority, do you even want it bad enough? Do you even want it bad enough? I have to ask myself that question every day when I'm lying down and I'm doing nothing and I'm dreaming about all these things I want and the goal that is just in the palm of my hands, I'm looking at it, I'm like, do I even want this bad enough? Because there's someone out there who wants it so badly. And maybe you don't know about them right now, but you will know about them. And that could be you. That could be you if you grind, if you're like me, you post videos, you add value, you put aside the things that are taking your energy and thoughts and mind capacity. Because like I said, it's hard to think of things to talk about on these videos when I have so many things hogging my mind. It's like they're on a bus and my bus is driving and I have, if I have all these things on my list that are taking up seats on the bus, the things I want to think about to talk to you guys, they're not gonna be able to get on the bus or they're gonna be crammed and there's gonna be so much stuff on the bus, I'm not gonna be able to think straight. That bus is my mind. It's always gonna be moving, but if I have more room on that bus, you know, the things that are coming in that I actually want, my goals, the things that I wanna talk about, the videos, they get more room on the bus. They can kick their feet up. They can be less stressed out because there's less people on the bus. They can cruise and understand that there's so much room for me. There's space for me to stretch out and just make everything I've ever wanted to happen, happen. Understand that that list is gonna be a list every day. And you're either gonna add to that list, you're gonna let that list stay the same, or you're gonna start cutting down on that list. And you're gonna make that list start looking better. Cause I want my list to look so good. I wanna have the things I need and my goals right under it. I don't wanna have the things I need all this random crap that does nothing to my life, pages and pages and pages of it, and then my goals. Because how am I gonna get done with my priorities, sift through all those lines of things that have no value to my life, and then get to my goals, and then expect them to happen, and then complain that it's impossible. It's not impossible. It's possible. All you need to do is every single day, be better than who you were yesterday. And that starts with the first, marking out and getting rid of those things on your daily routine and making your goal a priority. Understand that it's possible. It's possible to achieve what you want to achieve. You just have to make your goal a priority. And I pray that I was able to motivate you to do that with this video. 
but yeah that'll be all for me continue to mark out those things on your list let me know how it goes comment some things that you maybe need to get rid of in your life and yeah hope you enjoyed the video and you guys have a blessed day